Welcome to the Def Cam. Viewers, please subscribe the channel to encourage us to bring more informative videos for you. Let's move to our topic. The JF-17 Thunder Block 4 is poised to become the most advanced iteration of the Thunder series, integrating stealth, next-generation avionics, superior weaponry, and enhanced endurance. With improved engines, sensors, and survivability features, Block 4 will ensure the Thunder remains a lethal, cost-effective alternative in modern aerial warfare. Its export potential will also expand as more countries seek affordable yet advanced multi-role fighter solutions. While still in the conceptual phase, the anticipated upgrades place Block 4 in direct competition with advanced fourth-plus generation fighters, solidifying its role as a strategic asset for Pakistan's Air Force. The JF-17 Thunder, also called the FC-1 in China, was developed to replace older aircraft in the Pakistan Air Force, including the F-7s, Mirage 3 and 5, and A-5s. The need for an indigenous fighter jet capable of modern combat scenarios arose in the 1980s as Pakistan sought alternatives to Western aircraft that were vulnerable to sanctions and supply disruptions. Initially, Pakistan collaborated with the United States and China on the Super 7 project, an upgraded version of the F-7. However, the project was halted after the United States imposed military sanctions on China following the 1989 Tiananmen Square incident. In the 1990s, Pakistan revived the program in partnership with China's Chengdu Aircraft Corporation, which eventually led to the development of the JF-17 Thunder. The first prototype was unveiled on May 31, 2003, and completed its maiden flight on August 25 of the same year. The aircraft underwent several design refinements, including the integration of divert-less supersonic inlets to optimize airflow and adjustments to the vertical stabilizer for improved aerodynamics. Pakistan Aeronautical Complex later took over final assembly and production, marking the country's entry into indigenous fighter aircraft manufacturing. The JF-17 Thunder is a lightweight, single-engine, multi-role combat aircraft designed for air defense, ground attack, and reconnaissance missions. It is powered by a Klimov RD-93 afterburning turbofan engine, generating 84.4 kilonewtons of thrust, allowing it to reach speeds of Mach 1.6 and a combat range of approximately 1,400 kilometers with external fuel tanks. The cockpit features an all-glass digital display with a hands-on throttle and stick control system, three multifunction screens, and a holographic head-up display for enhanced situational awareness. Its digital flyby wire system improves maneuverability and stability, making it highly competitive in aerial engagements. The JF-17 is equipped with a diverse array of weapons, enabling it to effectively engage both airborne and ground-based targets. It carries a 23mm twin-barrel autocannon for close-range combat and ground support. For aerial engagements, it is armed with short-range infrared-guided and beyond-visual-range missiles such as the PL-5E2 and SD-10. In ground attack and naval strike roles, it can deploy CM-400 AKG supersonic cruise missiles, ROD-2 air-launched cruise missiles, and C-802 anti-ship missiles. Additionally, the aircraft can carry precision-guided bombs like the GBU-12 Pave Way-2 and LS-6 Glide Bombs. The onboard radar system, the KLJ-7 Pulse Doppler Radar, enables the tracking of multiple targets at once, engaging up to four simultaneously. Advanced models feature an active electronically scanned array radar, significantly improving detection range, tracking precision, and electronic warfare resilience. The Pakistan Air Force officially inducted the JF-17 into service in February 2010. Since then, the aircraft has been a key asset in various military operations, showcasing its combat effectiveness. It played a crucial role in Pakistan's response to the 2019 Balakwat airstrike, executing precision-guided strikes on Indian military installations in Kashmir. The aircraft has also been extensively used in counterterrorism operations along Pakistan's western border, targeting militant hideouts with laser-guided bombs and air-to-ground missiles. Regular aerial patrols conducted by the JF-17 contribute to national airspace security and deterrence. Thunder has gained international attention due to its cost efficiency, operational versatility, and ease of maintenance. Myanmar became the first foreign operator, integrating the JF-17 into its air force. Nigeria acquired Thunder's Block II aircraft, marking Pakistan's first confirmed export of the fighter. Azerbaijan finalized a deal in 2024 to purchase Thunder's Block III aircraft to strengthen its aerial defense. Other countries, including Egypt, Argentina, 
Malaysia, Iraq, and Sudan have expressed interest in acquiring the jet as a viable alternative to expensive Western fighter aircraft. The Thunder program continues to evolve, with the Block 3 variant incorporating major technological upgrades to enhance its combat effectiveness. The introduction of an advanced active electronically scanned array radar significantly improves target detection, tracking, and resistance to electronic warfare. A new helmet-mounted display system allows pilots to engage targets using high off-bore sight missiles like the PL-10 infrared guided missile. Infrared search and track sensors enable passive target detection without emitting radar signals, making the aircraft highly effective against stealth threats. The aircraft is expected to receive a more powerful WS-13 turbofan engine, allowing for sustained supersonic flight without relying on afterburners. Additionally, modifications in airframe design and the integration of radar-absorbing materials contribute to reduced radar visibility, enhancing its survivability in contested airspace. Block 3 introduces significant technological advancements, making it the most capable variant of the Thunder series. One of its most notable upgrades is the integration of the PL-15 long-range air-to-air missile, which dramatically extends its beyond-visual-range combat capabilities. The PL-15 features an active electronically scanned array radar seeker and has an estimated range exceeding 145 kilometers, allowing Block 3 to engage enemy aircraft before they enter engagement range. This capability gives it a decisive edge over older fourth-generation fighters, ensuring superior air dominance. To fully support the PL-15 missile, Block 3 is equipped with an advanced active electronically scanned array radar, replacing the older pulse Doppler system. This radar significantly improves target tracking, multi-target engagement, and resistance to electronic warfare, allowing the Thunder to detect and engage threats with greater precision and survivability. Another major enhancement is the incorporation of dual ejector racks, which enable the aircraft to carry multiple munitions per hardpoint. This effectively increases the Thunder's missile-carrying capacity without adding extra hardpoints, allowing it to deploy a larger weapons load without compromising maneuverability. With this feature, Block 3 can carry a greater number of air-to-air -air missiles, enhancing its capability in high-intensity combat situations. Block 3 also benefits from the increased use of composite materials, which help reduce the aircraft's overall weight while maintaining structural integrity. By replacing certain metal components with advanced composite materials, the aircraft achieves improved fuel efficiency, better agility, and enhanced durability, making it more effective in sustained combat scenarios. The reduced weight also contributes to increased range and payload capacity, further optimizing mission performance. Additional advancements include a helmet-mounted display and sight system, which enables pilots to engage targets simply by looking at them, significantly improving close-range combat effectiveness when paired with high off-bore sight missiles like the PL-10. The aircraft is also equipped with an infrared search and track sensor, providing passive detection of enemy aircraft without relying on radar emissions making it highly effective against stealth threats. Other key upgrades include a more advanced electronic warfare suite, an improved glass cockpit with a larger multifunction display, and an upgraded mission computer for faster data processing and enhanced situational awareness. Block 3 is expected to transition to the WS-13 turbofan engine, replacing the current Klimov RD-93, which will provide greater thrust, improved fuel efficiency and sustains supersonic performance without relying on afterburners. Additionally, stealth enhancements such as radar-absorbing materials and redesigned airframe elements help reduce its radar cross-section, improving survivability against enemy radar-guided threats. Thunder's future is bright, with continuous upgrades ensuring its relevance well into the 2030s and beyond. Its adaptability, cost-effectiveness, and ability to integrate modern technologies position it as a formidable multi-role fighter in global defense markets. With advancements in stealth, AI integration, networked warfare, and unmanned capabilities, Thunder is set to evolve into an even more lethal combat aircraft while maintaining its status as a cost-effective solution for modern air forces worldwide. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for upcoming videos.